Chapter 3, Left Behind, from the moment Louise got into the car with us, the trip was a bummer. Louise and my mom sat in the front, having hard-to-hear conversations, paying no attention to me or Susie, except for Louise telling me to be quiet. When I talked back to Louise, she would look at my mom and smile, as if my every word proved some point. As annoyed as I was with mom and Louise, I was still making the best of the trip with Susie. Susie and I laughed together when we stopped at a hotel in Las Vegas with a big pink elephant in the driveway. We especially liked that our room had a coin-operated vibrating bed. She and I pretended to ride it like a horse. I would feed it with as many coins as my mom would give me, it took us six days to get from California to Philadelphia. Mom said we would make a short stop in the city to drop off Louise before going on to New Hampshire. I couldn't wait to have Louise out of the car and have my mom back all to myself. Turning down Broad Street, Mom came to a stop at the curb in front of a ten-story building. Whose sky-high sign proclaimed it as the Divine Lorraine Hotel. It was an elaborate building with arched windows. It was the biggest building I'd ever seen, Mom told me to take Susie up the steps, make a right inside and go to the cafeteria to order food. She said she was going to park the car and be back with the bags, I did not say goodbye or ask any questions. My mom didn't even give us money to order the food, she just pushed us out of the car. I remember, like it was yesterday. Getting out of the car, taking Susie's hand and walking with her up the steps, into the hotel, making a right just like mom said to do. We walked down a wide hallway, which had room for chairs, side tables and lamps on both sides. A long carpet down the center led to the restaurant. At the counter, I lifted Susie up onto a bar stool. I ordered our food, which was brought quickly at no charge. I kept watching for my mom, sure she would be there any minute, I waited and waited and waited.